What's up guys, it's Endymion, here with some more Mass Effect for you. This time I want to talk about a lesser known enemy faction that has some weird similarities with another alien race, as well as what these enemies could be capable of in the future of the franchise. The Adjutants are an enemy unit that you can encounter in the Omega DLC for Mass Effect 3. They're huge hulking monstrosities with pulsating camel-like sacks and weird tentacle-like mouths. They are also highly resistant to most gunfire and are mostly a pain in the ass to deal with. What we know about the Adjutants is that they originated somewhere beyond the Omega-4 Relay, the same place of space that the Collector's base was hiding in Mass Effect 2. But looking at the Adjutants gives me a weird feeling that they are something we've seen before. They don't look like any alien race we've fought before, which leads me to a theory. What if the Adjutants were a race we have seen before, but only in passing? What if the Adjutants were Reaper modified versions of the Inusanen. See, the Inusanen, as I've said in a past video, were the alien beings that were ultimately wiped out by the Reapers in a previous cycle. Around the same time, the Inusanen were also fighting with another alien race, the Thoi Han, over a derelict planet named Angana for some unknown reason. What's also interesting is that the planet Angana that these two races were fighting over is conveniently located in the Omega Nebula, the same system of stars that fosters the criminal underworld Omega, as well as the Omega-4 Relay, where the Adjutants and the Collectors, both Reaper enemies, exist within. It's also explained in game during the Omega DLC in Mass Effect 3 that the Adjutants are essentially a faction of Reaper class enemies designed to rush enemy forces at ground level and upon killing their enemies, the Adjutants will infect their enemies and essentially turn the corpses of their foes into more Adjutants. Think of them like Mass Effect space zombies, only much harder to kill and way more powerful. So that means, so far, we have the info that the Adjutants were an alien race of some origin, possibly Inusanen. I mean, they do look similar with the whole tentacle mouse thing going on. And we know that they can also infect and transform organics into Adjutants. But here's the next part of my theory. What if the origin of the virus that defines the Adjutants, their ability to forcibly transform their prey into one of their own, was originally discovered on the planet of Angana, the same planet the Inusanen and Thoi Han were fighting over while the Reapers were systematically wiping out both alien races. And what if this Adjutant Scourge was discovered by these two now presumably extinct alien races and they were warring over how to use this virus Scourge, whatever it was, in order to gain an upper hand on the Reapers. But due to their hubris and need to assume direct control led to not only both alien races being eventually wiped out by the Reapers, but the Reapers after having dealt with the Inusanen and Thoi Han, began exploring Angana, found this virus, which may have been originally a parasite or something of organic nature, and then the Reapers, seeing how this virus could have been weaponized against them, instead, in a cruel twist of fate, used the very same virus on the Inusanen and Thoi Han, and forcibly made the two proud alien races into their thralls for further galactic genocidal expansion. I mean, it would line up nicely, right? All of this activity, all of this war and death, it all happened within one system, the Omega Nebula. And the Reapers, having weaponized the Adjutant Scourge virus into what it is now, use it on the remaining people among the two alien races, built the Omega-4 Relay, which, as we know, the relays are based on and were constructed by the Intelligence, the creator of the Reapers, as a fast travel system in order to expand Expediate and fine-tune the process of organic species being harvested every 50,000 years so that the Reapers could essentially lock their new pets, in a sense, the Adjutants in this case, into a safe room, basically. As we know, the Omega-4 Relay isn't able to be crossed unless a certain few conditions are met before crossing the Relay, which Shepard and his crew are able to do when taking on the Collectors in Mass Effect 2. But for the normal kind of ship, it's basically impossible. So what we have in the end is an enemy faction of the Reapers called the Adjutants that were, in theory, the Inusanen. Hell, maybe even part of the Adjutants resembles the Thoi Han, Maybe these sacks on the Adjutant's backs are physical characteristics of the Thoi Han, and the Reapers, in their infinite cruelty, fused these two races into one and were unfortunately forced into serving their conquerors. I mean, the Adjutant's original enemy name in game was supposed to be Pariah, and by definition, Pariahs are members of a lower social class or someone who has been outcasted and despised by those around them, which perfectly fits what the Adjutants are. They were a proud race of scientists, in the Inusanen's case anyway, and were eventually stripped of their hierarchy and power only to be made into slaves 
for their synthetic masters. But that still leaves a lingering question of what will happen with the adjutant virus going forward. Sure, Shepard and Arya stop Cerberus and take Omega back from the elusive man, but this is Cerberus we're talking about. They have to have more adjutants or the virus, at the very least, waiting in cold storage on some unknown planet for future use. Imagine if down the line someone were to find that virus and sneak it into the Citadel and contaminate the water supply or an on-station oxygen tank with the adjutant virus. All hell would break loose. And also, in order to further cement the theory, the name adjutant by definition means a military officer who acts as an administrative assistant to a senior officer. So yeah, I guess they really are slaves to their Reaper superiors. But hey, maybe now that the Reapers are gone, the Milky Way races could extract some Inusanan or Thoihan DNA from one of these adjutants to bring that race back. Only time will tell. Well, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know of any further topics you want to see. And if you like Mass Effect RPGs or theories, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I'm Endymion. Apologies for the last five days of no videos. I was kind of busy in real life. I got an air conditioning unit, so I'm no longer dying of heat anymore, so that's good. But I'll try to pump out some new stuff as the week goes on. So thanks for being patient. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.